Liam Hill sponsors Bellevue versus Hay 2 on Sky Sports Box Office. This is Kukan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Belfast here for the homecoming press conference. I'm joined by Tyra McKenna and Philip Sutcliffe, yeah. Junior. How are you? All good. Yeah? As best as we can be, Kelg, as best as we can be. So while I was doing the interview with Declan and Jono, mm -hmm. one of you was standing you, at one end, one of you was standing at the other yeah. end. Yeah. Same on both opposite side of the ring, red and blue, there's other one. Let's talk about some of the things that were obviously brought up in the press conference today. Yep. Um, you said a draw at best. At best. In his last fight. Yeah, talk to me about that, explain that. Look, he was lucky to get the knockdown, I thought, as well. Um, I thought uh, Ando outboxed him in every round. At best, he won the four rounds with the knockdown, in my opinion. I know it. I wanted to round him in because I wanted to fight him after what happened to me knee, like, you know that way, like, I didn't want to pull out. But unfortunately these things happen. But a very controversial six rounds, like that's crazy. But uh, listen, he won. The main thing is he won. And now the show's on again. Tyrone? I feel uncomfortable. I don't know how I was lucky to get the knockdown. If it was a knockdown, it was a body shot. Um, I thought maybe the first few rounds were tight, but I ran, ran away with the end. But everyone's entitled to their opinion, you know. If he doesn't think it won, he doesn't think it won. That's nothing to do with me, I've won. I've got the win, the fight's on. Unfortunately, he didn't, he did have an injury. The last camp I was really looking forward to it. Um, that's why I took it straight away again, because it's a fight that I think fans are going to be in, in for a treat. I think it's a, an exciting clash of styles. Um, yeah, so, excited. For people that don't know, where did this thing between you two start? Well, Tyrone expresses himself a lot on the old Twitter page, doesn't he? And uh, he was calling out a few names and just, just called me out, so. But at the time, I think it was the fight, uh, Josh Leda at the time, so, look, training camp was training camp, and uh, we all were training for that fight, and just, Basically, after that fight, we were looking for another big fight, but it didn't come. Through more injuries, and we got the Christmas show out of the way, and then now this this came about, and I said, yeah, of course, I'll fight around, no problem. You seem to mention a lot of names every week. Exactly. <laughs> so one of them's got to come off. Is that, is that Listen, it? I like, I'd like to be vocal. I like to express what I think. I want to meet on interviews, on everything, you know. I'm never scared to fight anyone. Obviously, Phil Sutcliffe is a big name in Ireland, in the UK, and uh, yeah, I want to fight the top people, and that's what I'm, I'm boxing for, not boxing to fight bums. Um, I never want to fight bums, and so if, if I call out someone, it's because I want to fight them, and I got to fight. Which you can't blame him for. Yeah, no, I would sure respect any man that gets in the ring, regardless of what's happening, and even if I'm not fighting, it's, it's, it's in the sport, isn't it, they get the fights on, but look, Fight's on now, it's made. Like, it was made due to me over training again, pushing the, the limits out again as I do, which is silly all the time. But the knee injury's fixed now. Well, hopefully now it just stays away now and we can get this fight gone. How do you feel, um, assess the calibre of opponents that Tyrone has been in the ring with so far in his career? Well, he's, he seemed to come across like this is no disrespect to Sean Cray or Jake Haney. Jake Haney, at best, probably trained two, three weeks, had a cup, useless, doesn't want to train, never wants to even turn up in the gym. Sean Cray, we all know where he came from. As in Sean will tell you himself, he was a white collar fighter. Like, and he's, he's talking that he's beating two Dublin lads. Mate, you didn't even beat them. These, these boys, Sean, nice. Sean, listen to me, right? Sean Cray, right? I broke his rib the week before the fight. Oh, beat listen, him. okay, okay, listen. He tore his, beat him listen, he tore his bicep. He tore his bicep in the fourth round against you. People okay. always have excuses listen, listen, against me. Always. I've never had a faith. That's never had an excuse. It comes with a tire he's, he's, he's had the operation straight after the fight. You know yourself. There's no point in that. Deco done his arm. 
two weeks before, I always barred him to play around, to help him out, five or five, as a southpaw, and I touched him with, with a right hand to the body, That's and I broke right. the I know it's alright, but I'm just telling you, these two guys that you beat, mate, I could go up out of bed and beat the two of them, in my sleep, well, and, go back, so and, go back, like a, and go like back, and go 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 back, yeah, you're a tired of both of them, because, mate, you haven't got the, but that's One not saying nothing. Right. Listen, that's a, you okay, say. no, listen, you, you, you're talking about you beat these two great guys from I didn't Dublin. say great once. Not <laughs> May, once. Yes, there are many a comment just said, we beat these two great guys. Sean, Sean Cray is a great guy. Jay Canny is a great guy. But Jay Canny doesn't train. Sean Cray trains like a Trojan. That's yeah. taken away from no one. Not taken away from yourself. Sean Cray had horrific injuries. You shouldn't even have took the fight. Jay Canny, on a session, on a session the week before the fight, Pulled out of a house, and that's not disrespect right. for Jake. Because well, you're just disrespecting everyone, all I'm, my opponents. I'm not you're disrespecting me credit the, ever. Listen, credit where uh, credit is due, right? You had a fight against your man, Guerrero, 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 whatever his name is. That tough was fight. all right. That was a tough fight because he made a tough fight. You. Well, he makes it tough for everyone. Can't say he's not a good fighter. Listen, he is. he's a tough lad. But listen, if he gets hit, right, I tell you what. See the guy I fought. You were there in Belfast. The guy I yeah. fought. See a tough lad. What happened to that tough lad? Well, well, what happened he, well, to that tough lad? Well, he, he went out after that fight and sparked up a fake. So he sparked up who? A fake, a cigarette. So, obviously he's having sessions the week before. That's no well, problem. Yeah, but okay, he was a tough guy, wasn't he? Well, he was tough, was he a tough guy? Is Sean Cray not tough? Sean Cray was tough, but he was horrific with an arm injury. Yeah, well, and he didn't start throwing up, so... Of course he didn't, because he's a tough guy. Yeah, so we're That's both. what I'm just telling you. So listen to this, right? You fought these two guys, you claimed the fame with two Dublin lads. No, it's not One fame. that doesn't train, and Sean Cray was riddled with injuries at the time. They shouldn't have took so the fight. Who, who have you beat? Who have I beat? We beat Jake, uh, fucking Chris Jenkins. Chris Jenkins? Tough, Chris, tough fit. Chris Jenkins? Uh, you trying to tell me you really? beat Chris Jenkins? Yeah, I would. I'd like to see that fight. Have offered him? I'd like to see that fight. That's okay. Energize well, here, there. very lucky, out not yeah, and I said that, and I said that, I won the fight by a round and a half, and I'm, I'm the most honest fight you'll come across. If I don't, get beat, don't listen, put down my opponents I'm not putting opponents. down your opponents, I'm just saying, you claimed the fame, and you were like, Dublin v Belfast. No, I claimed the fame, I don't have a claim to fame. Listen, I haven't had my claim to fame yet, my I'm, claim to fame is coming soon. Okay, right, Dublin v Belfast, that's what I'm getting at, that's what yeah. you said. So this is why you called me out, right, after beating Sean and Jake, two great guys, yeah. two good it's fighters, you just need to... Sean, Sean is Sean. I can only put it, beat what's in front of me. Exactly. And I, I, didn't, I did not say that, but you were like, oh, I'm going to beat three dubs. Mate, of course. them two boys can't, like, what? I grew up out of bed and I beat them. You probably would. I grew up out of bed with no training. I'm not saying you wouldn't. But I'm just letting you know, like, this is a different, this, and they'll, they'll whoop them, they'll box shit in every round. Do you box like I'll them? I can't, I can box like anyone. We can, box like can box like anyone. Okay, yeah. We can box like okay. anyone. I'll ask you the same question then. How do you rate Phil's calibre of opponents he's faced so far in his career? Yeah, he's... I don't know all his opponents. He's, he's had a good favourite with Chris Jenkins. That I thought was very close. Um, Josh Leller. He's, he's a very good fighter, but Phil didn't turn up on the net that night. Um, I'm not taking that away from Phil because I know he's better than that. Who else? Um, I, went so Yedget, 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 I went to Germany and Yedget's I was a, on a point. He's a, a point in Germany. Like, you have to bleed and knock them out to get a draw over there. I'm just letting you know, like, and you know that yourself how bad Germany is. He's good. He's good. He's very good. He's not taking that away from his opponents. He's had a hard, good few fights. But I believe I'll be as hard as him. I believe in myself. I believe. In my training camp, I believe in my, my team. I believe the way I prepare is perfect. I believe I've came on leaps and bounds in the past couple of years. And I believe it's going to be a great fight in the net, but I believe I'm going to win. Is he a tougher opponent, do you think, than Josh Lever? No. No, I, listen, I'm more tough as opponent, so it all depends how hard I make my camp. And that's, that's the only thing that I got. Tyrone is a good fighter, good boxer. Boxing forward, that's no problem. Anyway, he wants to fight on the night. And they whooped him, skilled him. And he had five Scooby. weeks, sk he skilled you. If yeah. you watch the first five rounds, yeah. you couldn't even land a glove on him. Well, you couldn't it. land a glove on him. He had five okay. weeks training. He was after being on the piss. 
not taking any any Anta Wopton is a classy, classy for you. He's only a lightweight. He's a lightweight. Tyrone, he's a lightweight. You know, at best, he's a lightweight. Listen, you know this, Tyrone. You can say what you want about Anta Wopton, Anta Wopton, my other opponents. It doesn't matter. Me and you are fitting out. Me and Anta Wopton. I'm not worried. I'm, worried. I'm just letting you know because you did on the subject of what Kilburn is talking about, 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 about opponents and, and, and comparing. That's what I'm saying. It's nothing like it. Listen, this fight is going to be different for you, and you know it inside. Oh, I know, it's going to be different. Know it's going to be easier, not though. Easy? you got to play and draw her best. <sighs> listen, Tyrone, you know how hard this fight is going to be on you. No, you know how it's uh, going to be on you. Listen, different yes, ball game. Yeah, I know different it is. Different ball it is. game altogether. Big thing. Tell me why you win the fight on June the 30th. Because I prepare perfect. I put everything in the camp. Of my fitness is always through the roof. I'm always in the best shape I can. I can't be in. I've always you're performed. You're blown out of bollocks in the fifth round. You're trained for 12 weeks. You trained for four weeks. What are you weeks. talking about? I could have done more five rounds there. All right. No, okay. See. You're delusional and watch my feet. You really are. But uh, I believe I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be able to step it up on the night where he won't be able to step it up. Same question to you, Phil. Kill. Okay, look. Oh, after watching his last performance, I hope he can step her up after that poor, very, very poor performance. Mm. I forgot I had 12 weeks training. 12 weeks training. We'll see. 12 weeks, the fight of fella that has 4 weeks training that the band was on so the piss. He was piss. training already, anyway. Listen. Can't take it away from him. He was out on the piss. I want to take it away from anyone. I'm the most honest person in, right, in this room, so. probably. But listen, it's going to be a different ball game on the night, and you know we'll quite well. I know it's going to be a different you ball game. You do know. An order, an <laughs> That's the An order defeat. One thing For that I've never tasted is defeat. I'm not going to taste defeat. I promise you. Remember that. I will remember it. I will remember it. I will say it there right in the end of the night. Perfect. We'll see. Okay, before we end, have you got anything else you'd like to say to me, to the people watching, or to each other? No. Best of luck. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Always on Kelk.